I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is drawing the California state flag. I take one finger on the left at the bottom and I put a dot and one finger on the right and I put a dot. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a little straight line on the left and a little straight line on the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a big straight line all the way over and connect. Come down to the bottom. Draw another big straight line all the way over and connect. Right above, we're going to write in capitals, California, California, Republic. Okay, now come up to the middle. Over here on the left hand side, three fingers towards the middle, put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a little straight line down, straight line in, curve line down, straight line up, little curve line up and out, curve line over, curve line, straight line, leave it floating. Come back to the dot. Now we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, little curve line up, down, little curve line up, down, and right here we're going to draw a curve line, and on this side another curve line. Come back over here to this line and we're going to draw a big curve line down, over, and around. Leave it floating. Alright, come back over here. We're just going to draw a straight diagonal down and connect. We're going to come back up right about midpoint. We're going to draw a curve line down, out, straight line, up, little curve line over, right about here, curve line down, Curve line down, straight line, up, and connect. Right behind here, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line, curve line, straight line, up. This is floating, just add another little curve line. Come over here on the right, little curve line down, over, connect. Now, We've got to come about midpoint and we're going to draw skinny mini, a curve line, jump over, jump over, jump over. We're going to put some little straight lines, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and now some wavy line, two, three, four, five. Okay? Come back over here on the left and we're just going to put a curve line. Color that in black. Put a little curve line. Leave that in there. And come right about here and put a dot. Okay? Come all the way over up here on the left. Put a dot. We're going to go straight diagonal down on the left. Straight diagonal down on the right. Straight line out on the left. Straight line out on the right. Straight diagonal down on the left. Straight diagonal down on the right. Straight diagonal out on the left. Straight diagonal out on the right. Straight diagonal up, down, and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, first thing we're going to do, color in this big rectangle down at the bottom. This should be red. Solid red. 
not like I'm doing it, but solid red all the way over. Okay? Then the next part you need to do is going to be this red star. So this should all be red. And you will do a way better job coloring than me. Then you come down and in his mouth, this little section, this is red. That's his tongue. Okay. Now, he has some very, and I'm talking about this bear. He's got some very colorful shading going on. So with my dark brown, I'm just going to put some loop-de-loop -loop around his eye, loop-de-loop -loop around his mouth, his chin, that's this section, a little bit on his ears. We're going to triple color this guy, so come up and do his top part of his body. Bring it on down to this big old leg. He's got some in here. His feet have dark brown, so bring some here, some here, some here on his foot, on all his feet really, and some back here on the bottom. Okay? Put his tail. And the shading, we're going to do a couple of times, but let's get the first coat on, and this is just plain regular brown. Now, if you don't have a bunch of different browns, you can use your brown and do light and dark. I, however, have some multicultural crayons, so I'm going to put another layer of color over the brown. This time I'm using like a light apricot, just to give them some base color. Okay. But then I have a darker brown. Whoops, wrong one. This one. And now I'm going to loop de loop all over the colors that I just did. So he's got three colors. I might even do with one more, I'll show you. Four colors. Now, if you Google and you look at the flag itself, you will see that the bear and I think it's supposed to be a grizzly bear, has um, a two-tone look to it. We're using more colors to get a darker looking bear. So once you've done your basic bear colors with your browns, if you have them, then you can back off and use black. But don't go crazy with the black, okay? Lightly loop-de-loop -loop over your entire bear so he has some black on him, but not so much that you kill your other colors and not so much that all of a sudden he's no longer a grizzly bear, he looks like a black bear, okay? Now, when you look at your bear, he should be, you should be able to see all the colors. Okay, now the last part is this pop of green grass he's on. Okay, and I got to tell you, this bear and this flag were very tricky to draw. So if you do yours a couple of times and it still looks whacked, don't worry. It took me a couple of times to do this too. Anyways, he gets that pop of green. He really needs that color. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here is the California State Republic flag, all colored in, spelled correctly. Okay, bye-bye.